Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We're out here on the New England Mountains and we're going to be doing the Raccoon Guide. So let's go ahead and let's just jump right in. So the raccoons here on New England, they drink from 3 to 6 in the morning as you can see right there. They are a class 2 animal, so that's going to give you a few different options on the guns you could use. Today we have with us the Air Rifle, the 30-30, the Zarza 223, and the 243 handgun. So my personal favorite is the Air Rifle, it's just such a good gun, but as long as it covers class 2, you are good to go. Max level is 5 medium, max weight is 13 kg, silver is 5, gold is 9, and diamond is 12. Common fur types are blonde, brown, and gray. Rare fur types are albino, melanistic, blonde piebald, and gray piebald. And you can use the raccoon squall collar to lure them in. But that pretty much does it here for the information. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go take down some raccoons. We're going to be starting things off at this little lake right here. It's not the biggest lake, obviously, but it does have one zone on it. It's got like five or six um, raccoons in it. I think it's probably my best zone that I was able to find. The closest outpost is this one right here. The Sandler Hut, which I do not have for whatever reason. I came from this one over here, the Coal Hill Cabin. But yeah, one of my best zones, like I said. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. There's a level 3, 6 to 8 for his estimates. That one right there is going to be a female, but that's another level 3, 6 to 8 for his estimates. And then this one right here is also a level 3, 6 to 8 for his estimates. But he has the better weight estimate, so we are going to go ahead and probably take him down. So there's a female, like we said. There's another female. So that's 5 for sure. I think there might be another female over here. And yeah, there is right there. So there's 6 over here in this zone. Pretty good one, I must say. So I'd really like to get super close to him and try and get him with the air rifle. I don't know if we'll be able to, though. The wind is not the best ever, so we'll just kind of see what happens here. But yeah, the raccoons, they pretty much drink on the bottom half of the map here. You're not going to find any up on the top. If Literally, if you cut it in half right here along the river, you're going to find the raccoons all down here. We're going to be focusing on the lake specifically. I don't really like hunting the river, so we are going to be hunting the lakes. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get really that close to him. Yeah, he's already going attentive. Let's get the 243 handgun out. We'll just start with it. So I would recommend that you do get the high-tech pack. It's going to get you the night vision binoculars and the night vision scope. And we, oh, we actually got him right there. I was going to say, we didn't get him, but he just died on the spot. He didn't move or nothing. He just, like, literally flopped down. That's kind of crazy. I didn't think we got him. I thought we hit, like, the stick that was right there in front of him. So I was getting ready to take another shot, but obviously the 243 handgun only has one shot. Yeah, I just did not think we actually got him there. So it looks like he's going to be the blonde fur type, and let's pick him up, and he'll be a silver at 8.36. Got him there in the right lung, the left lung, and the thoracic vertebrae. So yeah, just dropped him on the spot there as his tongue was out. That is kind of funny. I'm going to use that as a thumbnail, I think, for sure. So let's go ahead and head to another lake. Now we're here at this lake, it's just directly west from where we came from, this outpost is the Coal Hill Cabin like we said earlier, but it's another pretty good looking zone, it has like 4 males in it, I didn't see any females over here, so this one's a level 4, 8 to 10 for his estimates, he's also 8 to 10 kg up there, for his weight estimate this one's a level 3, 7 to 9, this one's going to be an 8 to 10 level 3, he's a big one, and then this one's a level 4, 8 to 10 as well, so we got some options here, some decent ones for sure, probably just going to go for this one, the wind is absolutely terrible, so we're not going to be able to sneak up on them, whatsoever i'm just gonna have to take him probably with the 223 or something like that so let's go ahead and get it out let's just go for this one since he is giving us the overall best shot here we'll go ahead and take that can't spot him here so we'll just kind of have to go for i guess something like that right there um definitely rolled him over and he is not moving i don't i think he died yeah or there's no um, hunting pressure so he didn't die um i guess we didn't get a good shot he's fleeing there so let's go ahead and get the 223 again and try and get him it's kind of hard to tell right there because you can't spot him and he's not moving or anything like that. That definitely dropped him there. Um, yeah, that was really weird how he just kind of st stood there. I'd never seen that before. But let's get over here and let's get him. The others are definitely going to be fleeing, I'd say. And yeah, they aren't over there. So let's go grab him. We definitely got vitals on the second shot here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and pick him up and see what happened on that first shot. So he will be a gold at 10.45. He's going to be at the top of his estimates there, so he is definitely a big level 4. Got him there in the intestines, so that is just very unfortunate. The shot placement um, was bad, but like it was just dead on into the intestines. Had it been into the lungs, that would have been a very good shot. Just bad shot placement there. But got him there in the left lung and the right lung for the second shot, so that is fantastic. Really glad he just decided to stand there. Really don't know what was happening with that. Like I said, it was 130 meters for the second shot and 130 for the first shot. So yeah, overall, I guess it went pretty well. Let's go ahead and head to another lake. 
We are now here at this big lake. This outpost closest to us is the Hawthorne Range Hut. This lake is pretty good. It has a bunch of females on it though from what I've noticed. Um, the only male I've been able to find so far is this one right over here if we can spot him. He's a level 3, 6 to 8 for his estimates. The rest of them around him are females. There's a female over here to our right. I'm pretty sure as well if we can actually find her. These are a bunch of golden eyes. I'm not too sure exactly where she's at. But I do remember her seeing one over there. And I think there's another one back over there as well. But yeah, we have this level 3, we're going to go ahead and take him down. We'll probably just use the 3030 here. The 3030 does not have a night vision scope, though it has just a specific scope for this gun. So we're about 100 meters out, 110 meters out, something like that. Now the effective range, I think, is, yeah, 75 meters. So hopefully we can get into the lungs here. Should be able to. Let's go ahead and go for that right there. And yeah, we dropped him on the spot. So we're going to run over here and get him, and then the only gun we have left to use is the air rifle. Probably going to be very difficult to get close to one of these guys, but it's going to be interesting to see if we can. So let's go get this one. Here he is. We did get the vital blood, so that is good. He's going to be a silver at 8.38. We got him in the left lung, the liver, and the stomach. So entered into the left lung, the liver, both of those are vitals, and went out on the stomach. So I mean, overall, that was pretty good for the most part at 107 meters with the 30-30. Okay guys, so I just found something pretty insane over here. I'm not too sure exactly where he came from. All I know is that he is a level 5 raccoon, 10 to 12 for his estimates. This is crazy. This is my first ever level 5 raccoon. If he does make diamond, it will be my first ever diamond raccoon. But we're down here at this lake. It's at the very bottom of the map. This outpost here is the Zealand Lodge. Not too sure exactly, like I said, where he came from. I guess this was a zone, this was a zone that I already had. And if I do these guides, if I look at the lake and see that I do have a zone over there, chances are I usually don't go down there and I focus on areas that I don't have zones. So that might have been the case here and I just randomly picked up this zone at one point in time and did not know there was a level 5 in it. But I don't know. We're going to try and take him down though. Would love to use the air rifle on him. I just don't know if we're going to be able to get that close to him. I'm not going to try and chance it either. Um, sometimes um, that kind of stuff can go bad, especially if you're trying to get real close to him. We just we don't want to mess him up or do anything to spook him off like that. So I might just end up using Old Reliable, the 243 handgun. We're just going to have to see. I'm going to try and get like right over there onto that piece of land that is sticking out. The wind is fantastic, so maybe we can use the air rifle. I don't know. But I'll let you know when we get in position to potentially take down this diamond potential um, raccoon. So we're about 75 meters out right now. This is as close as we're going to get, um, at least from this angle. We could go around to the left there, but I just feel like if we do, we're going to end up spooking these, and then that'll probably get him to go alert or whatever, and it'll just kind of mess things up, honestly. So we could use the air rifle in this situation. He is going to be attentive there, though. I don't know. Let's get the air rifle out, and let's just see what he does if he goes alert. And once he goes alert... We will go and just lay back down and get him to just go back to being calm. So there he goes right there. If he gives us a broadside shot or does that right there, we might take him. If he stands up again, like he did right there as I um, took away the scope, we might go ahead and try and do that. But he's going to start walking away there. So yeah, I don't think this is going to be a good idea. I think I'm just going to use the 243 handgun. We can go somewhere else and potentially let's take off the um, night vision scope really quickly. We can potentially take him down somewhere else um, with the, or take another one down with the air rifle somewhere else. So he's still going to be going alert there. Let's let him stand up again and let's take that shot. And it's going to be fantastic. He is going to be down right there. So I just took the safe option. It's better than trying to risk it and then all that stuff going wrong or whatever. Just went ahead with these safe options. Let's get over there, pick him up. Let's see if he's going to be a diamond or not. This is very, very exciting. Okay, guys, so the moment of truth here, let's go ahead and pick him up and see if he's going to be a diamond. He is also the blonde fur type, which is one of my favorites for the raccoons, and he will, in fact, be a diamond. Let's go. 12.26 for his um, trophy rating there, and he got him there in the left lung. So, yeah, I'm just kind of speechless, honestly. Did not expect to find this guy on the map. Like I said, I didn't come down to this lake, so I just didn't know he was over here. So it's really cool when you are kind of surprised like that. Um, But got him there in the left lung. Overall, pretty good shot. And a diamond raccoon. That is absolutely crazy. So I'm going to get a few screenshots here. Probably still going to use that other one as the thumbnail. We might use two of them on the thumbnail. Um, the one that was sticking his tongue out. But still, this is very, very cool. 12 is diamond, like we said. So he's .26 above there. And yeah, that is just so, so awesome. I'm really happy about this. Um, it's another diamond off the list. I only think we have about 20 diamonds left to get in the game. Um, of course, Australia is coming out pretty soon. So that will add to that. There will be new species and whatnot. But it is still pretty cool to get another one off the list here. So let's just accept him. Like I said, I do want to use the air rifle. So let's see if we can find another one somewhere on another lake or something just to take down with the air rifle. And then we'll wrap things up after that. 
So to wrap things up here, we have a level 3, 7 to 9 for his estimates. Pretty sure he's the only one over here. We're about 60 meters out right now, so we should be in good shape to take him down with the air rifle. So let's go for that. And it's going to be fantastic. So the air rifle, when you're close enough, is probably one of the best guns in the game. It just drops animals like that so quickly. It's just a very, very good gun. But we're over here on the river right now. I'm on the right side. This outpost is the um, New Madison Lodge. I actually came from this one over here, the Lake Montier Lodge, just because it was um, the wind was good in this direction, and that's how we were able to get so close to him. But here he is. Let's pick him up, and he'll be a silver at 8.75, left lung, liver, and the stomachs. A little bit far back, but you saw how fast it dropped him, like literally right there on the spot. Won't complain about it. It was actually at 40 meters. I thought he was way further than that. I thought he was at 60 meters, but he was at 42 meters, so I'll take that as well. But that's pretty much going to do it here. For this part of the guide, we got a diamond out of this hunt, which is absolutely insane. I don't know exactly how to process it just yet. I'm just super excited about it. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the map guide now. Here's the New England Mountains Raccoon map guide. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I went ahead and put a red circle around where we got our diamond today. And all the blue circles, that's going to represent where you have zones at. Like I said, they're all around the bottom of the map. You're not going to find any up there in the top of the map. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it here for this video. I really do hope it was helpful. And if it was, remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.